The blistering comment follows Mr. Trump's last-minute decision to grant the EU a temporary extension on relief from the tariffs, which should have been implemented on May 1, until June 1. Speaking to the European Parliament today, Mr. Juncker repeated where the bloc stands on the duties, which many fear could start a worldwide trade war said, I would like to reiterate the call that this exemption be made unconditional and permanent. We consider that the U.S. measures cannot be justified on the basis of national security. We will continue our negotiations with the United States, but we refuse to negotiate under threat. Jean-Claude Juncker, the EU chief, who is in Brussels to present the future budget plan of the Union, added, We will continue our negotiations with the United States, but we refuse to negotiate under threat. Mr. Junka's words confirm the position of the EU, which released a statement hours after Mr. Trump pushed back the deadline. The EU chief said the U.S. measures were prolonging market uncertainty. The statement also declared the European Union should be fully and permanently exempted from these measures, as they cannot be justified on the grounds of national security, adding that overcapacity in steel and aluminium doesn't come from Europe. Getty Jean-Claude Juncker said the EU won't negotiate under threat with the U.S. IT added that the Bloc has also consistently indicated its willingness to discuss current market access issues of interest to both sides, but warned that, as a long-standing partner and friend of the U.S., it won't be willing to negotiate under threat of heavy tariffs. Today the German government called for talks with the U.S. president to find a way to permanently exempt the Union. But Berlin used a much softer tone than Brussels, as its industries are at risk of losing millions in case of a trade war with the U.S. The German car industry is worth one-fifth of the country's total exports, with the U.S. being its second biggest destination. Getty M. R. Junka was in Brussels to present the future budget of the EU France's ministers for Europe and the economy, Jean-Yves Le Drian and Bruno Le Maire said in a joint statement, no reason whatsoever justifies that the EU be subjected to unilateral tariff increases on steel and aluminum. The European Union must stay united and stand together, as it has done these past weeks. The discussed measures Mr. Trump threatens to introduce could see tariffs of 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum exports sent to the U.S.